In this video guide, I will demonstrate how to use the Forms to Training feature, which allows a form to satisfy a training requirement for hands-on evaluations or assessments. Many training certifications require a combination of curriculum-based learning followed by a hands-on demonstration where the trainee's skills are evaluated and confirmed. Forms to Training is located in the Training tab and requires a couple of things before it can be used. The first is a training requirement for the evaluation you want the form to satisfy. Under Edit Trainings, we have a training requirement for forklift operators to take forklift safety, which is available to them on their mobile device or computer. But there is also a training requirement for forklift operator evaluation, which is a live demonstration of the employee's capabilities, and a requirement we want satisfied when a supervisor submits the evaluation form. In the details of the requirement, I can simply include instructions directing the employee to contact a supervisor to schedule the evaluation. The second thing we need before we can use the Form to Trainings feature is a form that will satisfy the training when completed. In the Forms tab, we have a Forklift Operator Evaluation Form. Any form created to satisfy a training requirement must contain fields for the training it satisfies and which employee is being evaluated. Now that the training requirement exists and the evaluation form is complete, we can go to the Trainings tab and click Form to Trainings. The term mapping refers to the link we need to make between a form and a training. Click Add Mapping to get started. Simply add the appropriate information in each field. First, we select the desired form. Only the forms that include fields for training and employee are going to show up in this list. Next, we complete required fields telling the system which fields in our form connect to training and the employee being evaluated. You can also connect optional fields such as completion date, instructor, notes, attachments, or student signature. You can also choose the conditions in which the form would mark the training requirement complete. The default is set to any form submission results in a pass grade for the evaluation. Or, you can use the conditional option to connect to a specific field in your form that might indicate pass or fail. Once completed, select Save, and you now have a form mapped to a training requirement, and you will see a summary of each form to training as well. So now if I go to the home screen, I can see that Derek Brown has an open task item for a forklift evaluation, and he's being instructed to contact his supervisor to schedule the evaluation. As a supervisor or instructor, I can go to the forklift evaluation form and complete it when conducting the live demonstration. Once submitted, I can see the open task item for Derek Brown is now gone, and the training requirement will be current in his user profile. I can see attachments for a certificate of completion, as well as a link to the evaluation form. That is how to use the Form to Trainings feature in iScout. If you have any questions about this or any other feature, visit help.iscout.com.